greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's thought is from Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. Isaiah 55 verse 11. <clears throat> so shall my word be that goes, goes, goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. This scripture talks about the power of his word. Here the Lord says, my word be that goes forth from my mouth shall not return to me void. Whatever the purpose God is sending that word, it will accomplish that purpose. It will fulfill the purpose of God. It will not go in void. So be encouraged. The Lord wants to send a word for you also. Whatever situation you are going through or circumstances you are going through, ask the Lord to give one word because there is power in his word that his word will go back to God without doing the purpose of God. So in my life, many times I used to ask the Lord to give a word for every decision making and also for every ministry. If, I, if me and my wife traveling for some ministry purpose, before we go for the ministry, I used to ask for a word for that particular ministry. The Lord will give a word. After I received the word from the Lord, me and my wife used to climb that word throughout that ministry travel time on the ministry time. We will climb that word and we will pray with that word. So today, the Lord wants to send a word for you, you also. Any decision making, ask the Lord to give a word for you. So the Lord will give a word for you. The Lord will accomplish his purpose through his word. His word has power. That word of God will bring deliverance, bring healing, bring strength to you. When the Lord gives a word, just hold on to that promise. Keep praying with that word. Whatever the purpose God is giving that word, it will be fulfilled in and through your life. Shall we do a word of prayer? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, today also we need a word. Lord, I pray, send your word to your people with your power and anointing of God. Lord, we believe that there is power in your word, there is healing in your word, there is deliverance in your word. And also, according to this verse, Lord Jesus, Lord, your word will not go back without accomplishing the purpose of God. Lord Jesus, encourage your children, bless them, Lord, do wonders and miracles. Let this day be a day of miracle and blessing, Lord. Let them see your mighty hand. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.